when the opposing team, you know, is the ma majority in the crowd. Yeah, you develop that mentality, you know, and then we go on the road, play Pittsburgh, come out with a W, play Kansas City, come out with a W. So we do do special things on the road. That's fact. That's not an opinion. What does that feel like? What's that, you know, not, having the confidence now to go into New England with what you guys have done already? Um, like I said, I got a, a lot of young guys that I step on the field with that love to play football anytime, any place. And how big a challenge in your mind is Sunday? Uh, it's Tom Brady. You know, uh, some say the best football player to ever played the game. Um, this guy always plays in this in the big game. You know what I mean? The big game is nothing new to him, and I'm sure he's on that same path. We're in the way, and I'm sure he's gonna, you know, approach the game and, and, and try to win. But that's the same way we're approaching the game. You know, we're going to go play against a great New England team. Those guys are always sound, always disciplined. They're not gonna beat themselves. And we got to come play great football, execute at a high level. And when we can get the ball, we got to get it. If, if you. If, if you have success against Tom on Sunday, what will you guys have done effectively for that? Um, play sound football, uh, correct mistakes. Uh, he's one of those guys, if it works, he's going to do it again. You know, so you got to come on the sideline, uh, take a look at the, um, the notepad, uh, see what windows of opportunity we left open, and try to close them up as quick as possible. That guy's not going to do anything miraculous. He's going to do what you give to him. And if you give it to him all night, he'll take it all night. For a defensive line, when you play seven DBs like you did last week, what's what's the biggest challenge for you guys? Uh, just doing our job. You know, um, I'm one of the guys that I, I take on a double team pretty much every play. So just understanding your job on the field, doing what what it takes for the team to win. This is playoff football. You know, everybody got a role, everybody got a job, and if you try to step out of that lane, you might step in someone else's lane. You know what I mean? So you got a job to do. You need to understand that very well and make sure you do it on Sunday. Jim, is there anything, not just beating the Patriots, you got to beat the Patriots' history and all that mystique they have? Is there anything to that? Nah. 60 minutes of football. We'll play them on Sunday. Somebody will win the game. What do you think of all their weapons? You know, they're getting a little bit older at Julian Edelman, Gronk, and what have you. What, have you, what do you see from them on film? These guys just had a first round bye, so these guys are playing big time football. They haven't slowed down one bit. They're still the team to beat in this league. Um, People are still going to Foxborough with, with with them having a home field advantage. I was talking to my wife last night. I'm like, how many times have you seen this guy in this game? You know what I mean? How old were we? We were really young. So this guy's been doing it great for a long time. It's an honor to step on the football and play against him. Hopefully we can come out with the W. Does it make it that much sweeter, though, the opportunity that's in front of you? Oh, yeah, just like when you play painting. You want to put your hands on it. These are guys that will be remembered in this game forever. Uh, will somebody come and pass through them? Maybe. But it'll, it'll take a long time to pass through this guy. How good is it to see Brandon back, and how tough it is for him? Um, I don't understand how tough it is for him because I don't understand that situation. But it is good to have him back. Uh, the fact that he's back in his locker room, willing to contribute to this team, that says a lot about that guy. Whatever he had to do to do that, I just my hats off to him, man. And um, I know he'll be effective for us this week on the field. I apologize if this has been asked, but you guys have gone into such tough environments and come out with wins. So what makes this team so gritty that you guys have been able to accomplish things like that? Um, you just rely on the guys that you got with you. And like I said, we got repetition at it. We've done this before. We made long road trips across the country. We just did it. Um, and you just got to go and rely on your fundamentals. Rely on the guys that you got on the field. Um, yeah, and that's it. Where, where, where might the focus change when you have an opponent that has several players that are kind of maybe smaller and shifty and, and good maybe tackle avoiders, uh, and maybe tackle breakers? Um, you just focus on your individual assignment. I know when I step on the field, I want to do my job for this team. I, I cannot control the big picture, you know what I mean? So I just kind of put my head down and do my work, you know, and if I contribute that to the team, then I've done my job for the day, you know what I mean? You can't try to be overwhelming. You just kind of get out of place, and Tom will find out, you know, if you're trying to do too much. So, like I said, everybody got a job to do, and it's going to be very important to do their job to the best of your ability this weekend. When you heard last week the game plan was to play seven DBs as base for the entire game, did you do a double take, or is it like this is a strategy to win? Well, I know that um, our organization, eva organization evaluated the situation. They felt like that was the best thing to do going into the game. They were right. Just, was it also, too, with Derwin, AP, and that those guys are versatile enough to play linebacker that, that it could succeed? Yeah, I mean, those guys are physical. You know, they have a physical mindset, especially Jaleel. I mean, we've seen this guy play ball for the last six years in this league. He is a physical guy. He will come up and take guys down. AP can do anything that he put his hands on. And that's proven. You know, he's a Pro Bowl guy, a guy that has proven himself over and over again. I like those guys in any situation. This uh, team is undefeated on a plane. What goes on in that flight? Um, just chilling. 
we just chilling. We know what's coming. We practice all week. We know we got some of the best guys playing this game on the field. We go in and we see what happens.